Hi, Tom here again. We are almost at the end of the 12 week program now. You're doing a great job so far. Today we are focusing on exercises that will help you if you take part in sports. These include joint strengthening exercises and injury prevention. Exercises like these are helpful whether you are taking part in sports or if you have to do a lot of heavy lifting or manual work in your job. Before we start, you will need a weight bar or a broomstick, a towel and a chair nearby for certain exercises that I'm about to demonstrate. As normal, Amanda will be demonstrating the exercises for me. Today we'll start off with some tips on lifting techniques. First of all, before you do a lift, make sure you wear some comfortable clothes and shoes that are stable, such as trainers. And when you do lift, uh, bring the heavier end of the weight closer to you and um, keep it close to your body and lift it with your spine straight and a wide stance with your feet. So Amanda, I'd like you to bring it close to your body and then uh, start lifting it up. Now, if you stop there, notice Amanda is looking at the object and her back is curving. Try to put it down again. And now bring it up, but this time you look up. You don't look at the object. Look at Amanda's spine is completely straight, especially if she looks further up. That straightens up your back. Now come and lift it up. Good, that was a bit of spine straight. How did that feel? A lot better, because I'd normally look at the object. Yes, always avoid looking at the object, but look up, even look further up than straight in, in front of you. Healthy shoulders need to be both supple and strong, so we've got some exercises for both. First, let's do a range of movement exercise. Amanda, I'd like you to have a wide grip on a towel, really, really wide grip, and bring it all the way behind you and down to your hips, and take them in front of you, down to your hips in front. Good. Notice Amanda's elbows, uh, while you're doing it, are really, really straight all the way through. And one more time. And it really opens up the shoulder girdles as well. If you don't have too wide a grip but take an hour grip, you will not be able to take your arms all the way through. You will get stuck here, then you need to bend your arms to take them further. Make sure you have a, a big towel and a wide grip. Fine. Let's go on to uh, use um, a weight bar. Ideally a weight bar, but if you don't have a weight bar, you can use a broomstick or likewise. And again, you have a wide grip. And the movements are fairly similar, but there's a huge difference in the weight uh, compared to the previous exercise. Take up behind you, and you'll get to there no further, but that's, that's good. And you hold it there a little bit, and bring it down in front of you again. And do it one more time. Elbow straight, that's good. Notice how Amanda's shoulders are really opening up. It feels like a good stretch. Good. Yes, it's really working the muscles as well, especially when you have some proper uh, weight in the weight bar. Uh, take it behind your back and then lift it up behind you and look up a little bit more. Good. And look straight ahead. Okay. Yes. And down. And up again. That's fine. The next one requires the medicine ball. All the uh, different exercises, please do 10 repetitions to start off with, and then you can always build it up. Thank you. And with your arms straight, this is good for both the shoulder and the upper back. You rotate all the way out to the side, and all the way to the other side. If you find the ball is too heavy, you can bring it a bit closer to you. That reduces the weight a lot. And again, 10 times. If you don't have a medicine ball, you could use a heavy book or something like that. That's excellent. And do you keep your feet forward? Yes. Good. 
There's first some range of movement exercises and then some strengthening exercises for the shoulder joints. We'll finish today's exercises off with the hips and the knees. So uh, for the first one, the hips, I'd like you to find an object that goes to the middle of your thigh and then uh, I'd like you to swing your leg over the arm of the sofa and back again. Good. While doing that, Amanda keeps really straight and she looks straight ahead as well. Good. You do this exercise about 15 times for each side. And after that, we'll go over to some easy squats. Very simple exercise, but it's really good for the uh, quadriceps that are very important knee stabilizers. So I'd like you to go down and do okay. some squats. How far down? This is perfect. How is that feeling? Good. And do I look straight ahead? Or? Yes. Keep your body straight. And start off with 10 to 15 of these. This is very important for the quads, which are very important knee stabilizers. Sport and physical exercise can strengthen your muscles and joints by breaking down cells and tissues so they can regrow stronger. But please remember, it's really important to rest in between sessions for this to happen. It's good to exercise regularly, but remember it's vital to get the right nutrition and support for your joints. Taking the supplements recommended to you by 7Cs and eating foods rich in omega-3 is a great way to do this. Most importantly, taking a supplement will really help to improve the health of your joints. Glucosamine and omega-3 are the two best ingredients you can take for your joint health. Glucosamine can help to rebuild your connective tissues with, while omega-3 reduces inflammation. Take a supplement containing both of these ingredients once a day and your joint health should continue to improve. You should also look out for emails from 7Cs featuring nutritionist Dr. Rosemary Leonard, a great advice on reducing your joint age. Well, that's it for this week, but I look forward to seeing you next time when I'll be recapping your key daily exercises.